Good day, ladies and gents. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about the Amaranth 60XS and why it is the best light for streamers and content creators with fixed setup and also with mobile setup on the go. I would also mention that this light is a lot better than panel lights like the Agaro key lines, they are very, very famous. And you will see the comparison at the end between the Agaro key lights and the Amaran 60XS on how the image look based on the lighting. Let's go have a look at what's in the box. And then I will give you three reasons why you should consider the Amaran 60XS for your next lighting upgrade. Let's do this. So we go into the first reason, which is it's very compact. It's very, very tiny. You can also put it on the stand if you want. And, and also it has adjustable settings. So if you don't want to put it straight, you want to put it on the side or facing down, you can. And also it adds something that I've never seen before on created lights, at least of this size end of this price because it's a studio light but is somewhat affordable i will link all the prices down below it also comes i don't know if you notice in the box but it comes with this which is a battery charger you can pick up two batteries from amazon like i did i'll show you in a minute so you see it is you just slide this into it, it clicks, it has to give you a satisfied click. And then it stays on there. You got the plug, you plug the same way this and the power supply. So you push it in and then you got the knob to turn to secure the plug in place. So it's not getting out anymore, right? So you can pick up those two batteries on Amazon, I will give you the link of everything down below turn it on it turns on how cool is that so you can bring it with you on the go with batteries so instead of getting two you may get four so while you're using the two the other two can be charging so you can swap them so you can basically go wide free second reason you can either let me turn it down <laughs> It's a bit bright. You can't even see me anymore because of the light. Now, it has a nice LCD on the side. So you can control the light from the side just by turning the knob, this red knob. Also, before I forget, there is a Bluetooth pairing button up here because you can also manage it through the app, the Sidus Link app. I will leave a link down below. So you can even, if your Bluetooth, manage it with your phone. And the Sadus app is compatible with all the Amaran and Aperture lights. So 
it's something that can grow with you. So it's it's more of an ecosystem. And the more lights you have, the more you can do composites, lights, and so anyway, going coming back to the point, if you turn just turn the knob, you go in increments by one percent. But if you push in, you go increments of ten or even twenty. Let me. <laughs> so you can see me again. Now, if you hold on the red button for a few seconds, it will go down to the Kelvin meter. So, and the same thing applies here. So you can go by pressing the button with the presets or just turning the knob. What the Kelvin meter does is it changes the color temperature of the light. So if you want it a little bit more, a little bit colder, that's when you go up in Kelvin rating. Or if you go down, it will go warmer. See, 2,700 Kelvin, it's very warm. And then you go 3,200 less warm and so on. So it's great that you can manage the light through the inbuilt screen or the app. Now, let me turn it off for a second. And the third reason is power mount, which is the mount here at the front which makes it compatible with a lot of soft boxes. This light goes with the soft box. You, I would not recommend to use it as it is because it's a very, very powerful light. So because it has a bow mount, it's compatible, as I said, with a lot of soft boxes. Like this one, for example. See how, how small it is? And it goes perfectly with our Amaran 60S and it's a very very mobile setup and it's a professional setup. Now when you when you first get this softbox to mount it make sure that you follow the red dots. I'm telling you for experience it took me 10 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> Honest here. But if you follow the red dots you will be fine and it attaches to the light via bow and mount. So you align the two holes and then you turn. Then you will hear the click. I don't know if you heard the click. And now it's in place. So this is a whole setup. Now we go into last comparison. But before that, I have a bonus information for you, mostly if you're a geek. So this light has got high color accuracy with the CRI of 96 plus, TLCI of 97 plus, and CQS of 95 plus. What does it all mean? Basically, it will give you more natural colors. So when you go into post-production, you can do basically less color rendering because it will be already at a good point in time. Future will go said I completely forgot to mention. I don't know if you notice from the unboxing, but the cable that they give you for the power supply is long. But when I mean long, so this is the front and this is the back. It will be, I don't know, three to five meter cable. I've never seen a power supply with a cable so long which is great because it, because it means that you don't have to be straight close to a power outlet. If you, if you learn anything in this video, um, I will highly encourage you to subscribe, uh, to ring the notification bell, leave a comment down below and like the video to make sure that I can give you content that you want to watch and that you find entertaining. Let's go back to the video now. Alrighty guys, this is the setup with the Amaran 60XS, as you can see on the top right, with the sock box that I showed you before. What do you reckon guys? Does it look better than the other setup? The other setup 
has an Insta360 link, which is different. Now we're using a DSLR camera, so you may see a difference in quality, video quality. And with two Agaro Keylights, one on the left and one on the right. In this one, we have the Amaran 60XS. I will go now back and forth between the two setups so you can see how it looks. What do you reckon, guys? Which one does look the best? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like this video next. Until next time, hooroo, mate.